Across the country tonight, Canadians are focused on the horrific highway crash in Manitoba. 25 passengers on a bus that collided with a semi-truck. And families wait to find out if their loved one is one of 10 taken to hospital or one of the 15 who have died. Both vehicles were destroyed in the crash that halted traffic for hours. It happened just before noon local time on a stretch of the Trans-Canada Highway between Winnipeg and Brandon. The bus was headed south from the city of Dauphin on its way to a casino near Carberry. That's when it collided with a truck that was traveling east. Reaction to this tragedy is pouring in from across Canada as the investigation continues. Cameron McIntosh is tracking this story from Winnipeg tonight. Cameron? Ian, a lot of sorrow here in Manitoba tonight and a lot of questions. How could this happen and who are the victims? Seniors on a casino trip, their bus completely destroyed after colliding with this truck in this intersection on the Trans-Canada Highway just north of Carberry, Manitoba, about two hours west of Winnipeg. Witnesses describe a horrible scene. Only death on this scale is never, never normalized for us. RCMP found bodies strewn about and 10 people injured. Forensic experts are still trying to figure out who the victims are as accident reconstructionists begin the meticulous task of sorting out what actually happened. Answers will take some time, but I can assure you that the RCMP will get the answers. Known so far, a minibus carrying 25 people left Dauphin about two hours north for a trip to a casino in Carberry. The bus crossed two westbound lanes at an intersection of a divided stretch of the Trans-Canada, then collided with the truck headed east. Both drivers survived. The 10 injured were taken to hospitals, including four airlifts to Winnipeg, where Manitoba's largest hospital was put on code orange, focusing all available resources on the accident. And we are continuing to triage and move them where they need to be. Most of the injuries were head injuries or orthopedic in nature, and we'll continue to assess as we go. Our hearts are broken, and our thoughts are with the families and loved ones of all the lives impacted by the horrific and devastating tragedy near Carberry. It's also very similar to the crash in Humboldt. RCMP say experts from that investigation will help in this one. They are treating this as a potential crime scene. We need to be alive to the fact that there could be wrongdoing. And if so, there could be a criminal element to this investigation. And Cameron, what do we know about the drivers of the two vehicles? Well, the RCMP are telling us right now that the two drivers of the vehicles are alive, at least for now, which may indicate that there are severe injuries here. As for the trucking company that owns the semi-truck that was going down the Trans-Canada Highway, Day and Ross, it released a statement today saying that it's heartbroken by all this and is cooperating with the RCMP's investigation. We reached out to the bus company, which told us it's not ready to comment yet, and of course, People will look at this and it's so reminiscent of what happened a few years ago to the Humboldt Broncos. Tonight, the Humboldt Broncos are tweeting that their thoughts and prayers are with everyone affected. Ian? Yeah, a lot of people for sure thinking about that crash tonight. Cameron McIntosh reporting from Winnipeg tonight. CBC Manitoba's Alana Cole is at the site of the crash right now. Now, you've been there for a few hours, Alana. Tell us what you've seen. Well, if you take a look behind me, you can see an area here remains taped off by the police. And investigators are here. They're still on scene doing that delicate work that goes into investigating a crash like this. Now, RCMP say that they have all available resources dedicated to this, and that includes major crimes. It also includes a forensic collision reconstruction team. Uh, just recently, in the last little while, we've seen RCMP kind of flying a drone overhead. Now, earlier today, when we got here, it was unlike any crash or any scene that I've been to. And you could see um, emergency crews kind of holding up tarps, kind of shielding um, what investigators were doing behind those tarps. And they were moving from area to area. But yes, I mean, very much still an active scene here tonight. Yeah, we can hear the trucks obviously going by you on the highway. Uh, the RCMP during the news conference was asked what advice they had to family members who might want to go to the, the scene. And the police said, you know what, uh, really don't do that. Contact us uh, somehow via phone, for example. Uh, uh, how are the police working with those families uh, tonight? 
RCMP say that they are working, you know, as best they can to get information to people about their loved ones. We, they say that they are working closely with the medical examiner's office. And we also know that an information centre has been set up uh, at a church in Dauphin. Ian. All right, Alana Cole at the site of the crash outside Carberry, Manitoba tonight. In just a few minutes, we'll hear from the officer in charge of this investigation and some of the first witnesses who arrived at the scene. Now, as you watch this, if you feel you're in need of help, you can visit the Family Support Centre in Dauphin, Manitoba. Assistance is also available for calling the, by calling the Family Support Line. That number is 204-647-5058.